What is going on awesome peeps? Brent McCluskey here with Electrified Reviews and today we are reviewing the Bentelli B2 cruiser style electric bike. So let's dive into the specs. The Bentelli B2 is a fun, lightweight, approachable cruiser electric bike that looks as good as it rides. With the step through frame and low standover height, mounting the saddle is a piece of cake. This e-bike has a starting price of $1,799 USD and comes in three different colors, Aqua, Anvil, and Flame. The model we are reviewing today is the Aqua color and let me tell you, this high gloss paint is beautiful. It literally shimmers in the sunlight. Bentelli offers a two year limited warranty on the B2 and all their bikes and free shipping to the contiguous United States. All right, let's take a look under the hood. The Bentelli B2 is equipped with a 350 watt hub motor mounted in the rear wheel. And while this motor isn't as powerful as the larger 500, 750, and 1000 watt motors we're used to seeing, it's certainly more energy efficient. At 350 watts, the B2 can still climb some pretty steep hills and it flies over the flats with ease. This 350 watt motor gives the B2 a top speed of 20 miles per hour, which can be reached using the thumb throttle or the cadence sensing pedal assist. This makes the B2 a class two e-bike, so it's legal to ride in most areas. The 36 volt, 10 amp hour locking removable battery sits nicely in the down tube and all but disappears into the frame. In fact, if this battery was painted the same color as the rest of the bike, it would be hard to spot. This battery gives the B2 a max estimated range of 25 miles according to the Bentelli website and honestly that's a pretty fair shake. I think real world range will probably be pretty close to the advertised range here and for that Bentelli gets an extra 20 points. With a curb weight of just 58 pounds, the B2 is quite a bit lighter than most of the e-bikes that come through our doors. And I think that this really adds to the overall approachability to this electric bike. And that lightness comes through when you're riding the B2. It feels nimble and easy to control, and it's also fairly easy to pick up and move around. The B2 is also very well balanced. Remember, we've got that battery right in the middle of the down tube, which is great for keeping a low center of gravity. And with the motor in the rear wheel and the zoom spring suspension up front, this e-bike could probably slackline if it wanted to. All right, but one of my favorite things about the B2's frame is the geometry. The adjustable handlebars are swept back and can be brought up pretty high. This results in an upright, relaxed riding posture, which is perfect for cruising around the neighborhood or just commuting to the grocery store. I mean, why not, right? We've got that rear rack to load up a couple of bags. At the back of the Bentelli B2, we've got a Shimano turning derailleur with a seven speed cassette paired with a Shimano SIS index thumb shifter, which if you've been with us for a while here at Electrified Reviews, you'll know this is not our favorite. And this is mainly because it requires the rider to completely readjust their grip in order to switch gears. If I could upgrade one component on the Bentelli B2, I'd pick this one. The funny thing about this though, is that I know some of you actually prefer the SIS index thumb shifter over trigger shifters. I'm curious, so let us know what you'd pick in the comments. To bring the B2 to a stop, we've got mechanical disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors in the front and rear wheels. Combined with the grippy CST 26 inch by 1.75 inch road tires, there's a good deal of stopping power here. So when it comes to lighting, the B2 is a curious machine. <laughs> it's equipped with an integrated tail light that illuminates whenever the brake levers are depressed. And that's great for letting anyone behind you know that you are coming to a stop. And since they're integrated directly into the electrical system, you'll never have to change the batteries. Now the headlight on the other hand is an independent headlight. So once it runs out of juice, you're gonna have to swap out the batteries. Neither of the lights are particularly bright, but they do an excellent job at increasing your visibility to other riders, pedestrians, and vehicle traffic. So we are still gonna give Bentelli 10 points just for the safety of it. Wire management on the B2 is good with everything being completely internally routed. This really adds to the streamlined look of the B2, and honestly, you could almost call this a stealth e-bike. 
The LED display is simple, easy to operate, and has physical buttons that click when they're depressed. That tactile feedback is great to be sure you've changed modes without having to take your eyes off the road to look. And it'll be particularly useful when you're wearing gloves in the winter. There's also a bell on the left side of the handlebars and on the right side, we've got the thumb throttle and that SIS index thumb shifter. Overall, the Bentelli B2 is an efficient, clean, easy to use and easy to ride electric bike. If approachability is your priority, the Bentelli B2 is worth a look. All right, let's see how the B2 looks on the road. All right, awesome peeps, that is it for the review of the Bentelli B2 cruiser style electric bike. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you are having a fantastic day. And if you could take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, that would be awesome. It would really help a lot and we would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.